Nossi. Can I have an account number, please? Uh, no, Nossi, you say. Spell that, please. It's N O S I. Yes, oh, I know, I see. Okay. Um, the account number is. I'll give you the account number for the letter that you've sent. The, the number is. Um, See, I can only give you the details of the letter you've sent. Okay, so can you please confirm me your full name? I'll give you the I can only give you the details of the letter that you've sent. If you scroll down a bit on the computer, it should say something about it. Okay. Have you read it? well aware of the 2019 DPI regulations. Sorry? I'm very well aware of the 2019 DPI regulations. Yes. So now I'm going to, I'm going to confirm those details in order for us to speak um, today. Yeah, go on. Alright, so can you please confirm your full name? I'll give you the details of the letter that you've sent. Okay, can I have the letter details? Uh, the, the, on the letter that you've sent. Okay. Probably the, yeah, the address on the, of the letter that you've sent is twelve, and the and, and, and the postcard. But and are you? No, I'm Martha. I'm Martha. It says on the computer if you scroll down. Okay, so how can I assist today? Um, well, it is. I've got a letter today. Have a uh, letter, letter come from from yourselves. Yeah. Uh, is it okay to speak to you? Or do you need to pass me through to anybody? Uh, well, it is. Well, you've, you've sent me a debt letter. It's, uh, do you want me to read it to you? Yeah, it's no problem. I know about the letter. You oh, you can see it says you've been referred to a debt collector and say engage services will visit your home to arrange a payment. Well, mm -hmm. I've made, I made payments on the twenth, on the fifteenth of the seventh. So I don't get what you, what that's about. You made the payment on the fifteenth of July. Fifteenth uh, of the seventh. Here, I've got the. I'm looking at the recorded delivery slip now. I paid off what I owed, which was um, five hundred and something pounds, because I've already, there's already, I've already paid eight hundred and twenty-seven pounds off. Can okay, you speak for me how much it is that you paid? Because the last payment that you received, um, so the whole year we have not received any payment. That's not true. The last one, You've the last one that you received was one hundred and thirteen, um, which was on the twenty-seventh of. No, that's not actually true. I've got a recorded delivery slip for a payment I've made. Well, anyway, never mind that. What I'm ringing up about is, you've said there, I'm going to ring up what you've actually put in the letter. You've said there, engaged services will visit your home to arrange a payment. Okay. How, how, do, how, now, do, how, how do they intend to do that, like? So they come out to a debt collector, a, a debt collector, sorry, does come out to the property and speak to you with regards to the balance that's outstanding. So you're saying that... Someone the, does come out. Are you saying that a debt collector from Engaged Services is going to come to my property? Yes, they do come out. Well, let me just stop you there. Then. Well, let me just, let me explain this to you. Engaged Services is owned by a company called Marston's, and Marston's. I'm looking at their website now, and it says on Marston's updates on coronavirus, all in warrant enforcement activities ceased until further notice. Hello. I'm not no, what the point I'm trying to the point I'm trying to make is you've sent me a letter, a threatening letter, saying that somebody's going to visit my home, but on their website it says that nobody can visit my home, so I'm sending me malicious communications yet again for a debt that I've paid. So what, That's so what I do know is that someone does come out to the property to give out the letter. So the only way you could have received, received that letter stating that a debt collector came out is when someone does. No, I didn't. I, didn't, I think you're misunderstanding. I didn't say that. I said you've sent me a letter. You've sent me a letter saying that engaged services are going to visit your, payment, visit your home to arrange a payment. I know that the law says that they can't visit my property because I've got, I've got, I'm vulnerable. And what I want to know is, have you passed my details to this company or have you sold them? Yes, you do pass the details to an agency if there's no payment. That's so you can com you're confirming now in a recorded phone call that you've passed my details to us. Yes, you recorded, I know, yes, yes. Uh, uh, to us. No, but I mean, you've sent my details to a third party without my consent. 
and that's kind of, I mean, we've already got, a, I'm already... Not necessarily, got, we don't not need to give you consent if the payment is not being made. Actually, you do need my consent. Letters. We just sent out, can you please give me a chance to speak? Yeah, go on. We just sent out a notice letter, soft letters, before we do it, to reach a stage where your, your, your details is being handed over. Because in the beginning, we just sent out soft letters stating that this is an action that's going to be done if this balance is not being, um, being looked into. Yeah, that's so what this phone call's about. I want to know, have you passed my details? Oh, this company. Saying, yes, your details have been passed to the debt collecting agency. Well, then I'd like to make a complaint. Then I'd like to speak to your manager, please, and make a complaint. It's no problem. I can just put me in a brief hold, then I'll call to the manager. Then. Yes, please. Sure. Hello? Eight minutes on hold. Jesus. Have you got no managers there or nothing? Just stay on the line for I'm just waiting for them to pick up, okay? Okay, yeah. Thank you. I don't appreciate, excuse me, let me stop you there a sec please, Nossie. I don't appreciate being on, the, being on hold for 20 minutes and not being put through to a manager to make a complaint. Because I sent them, they said that you have complained with regards to this matter. So this matter has been passed over to the Ombudsman. So now they're telling me to give you a number of the Ombudsman. Did, did this matter, how can this matter be passed to the Ombudsman? I haven't made the complaint yet. It says you have complained with regards to your details being given to a third party. No, that's and something else. I'm on, about, I'm on about this. And I, can, and I can also see the notes with regards to that. No, I'd like to speak to a manager, please. Okay, so now I did call through to them and they told me to tell you with regards to the officer, so I don't know what to do now next. Well, can I put me through to a manager, please? Because I'm, I'm wishing to log a complaint and you in person are stopping me from logging a complaint. I never stopped you from logging a complaint. I can just told you, you to the managers me? and then they advised me to tell you that the matter has been passed to the officer. Well, can you just, I mean, you've had, me, you've had me on hold. No problem. You've had me on hold. Please, put me, look, I, I, no offense, I know it's not your fault, Nossie, but this, what I'm talking about now has nothing to do with anything else. I want to make a complaint about this letter that I've received today. I wish to speak to the somebody. Okay, can you just give me a chance to speak? Yeah, go on. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. 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 That's called misrepresenting your power. So my complaint wants to be about this letter and the fact that no one's put the name on it and no one's put the signed it. So I don't know who it's from. I'm not sure what it's about. So you can't just hang up on me. I need to speak to a manager to make a complaint or I need to speak to somebody about this letter because it says on here, contact us to talk about this letter. It says it right here. I'm trying to do that. And again, you're not allowing me. Well, so pass me through, through can, to them and they well, told me what they did to well, me. Well, can you pass me through to that manager? Could you pass me through to the manager that told you that, please? 